first let's set up the equation that we can use in Excel, which is this equation here. Let's set that up in Excel so that we can apply it to different problems. So for this, we need to know the time for the first unit, and that's T1. I think I'll put T1 under there. That's the time for the first unit. And we need to know the learning rate. Learning rate, that's a percentage. And we uh, need to calculate this uh, B value. And then given that, we can calculate the time for the nth unit. So there's the nth unit. We need the nth unit, the number. And then we have the time for the nth unit. So I'm making this all kind of kind of big so that you can you can see it. But uh, you, you should get the idea here. So this is uh, we'll, we'll be given things like T1. So in the first question, the first test, Sorry, the first uh, question in the back of the book is E1, and it's about IRS auditors, and they say it takes 45 minutes to do the first one, and they have an 85% learning rate, and then B is equal to the log of this learning rate divided by the log of 2, and then the book asks questions about what will be, what's the time for the second unit? Well, that's really easy. It's just 85% of 45. So that's uh, one way to do it. Uh, the other is to use this formula where we take T1 times N, which is the nth unit, the second unit, to the B power. And the little caret is the uh, shift 6. And that's the B power. And that's 38.25. Now we can verify that because uh, it should be the same as 85% of 45 because it's the second unit. That's the, the rule that we use here. So 85% of 45 should be 38.25. So that's how you set up the equation. And now we could uh, simply plug in the values here or here or here. And then these are calculated. So generally, these are given. Generally, those are given. And that's given. And you're trying to calculate uh, this time here. So that's how you could set up a formula in Excel to find the time for the nth unit, and that would let you solve some problems.